Hello, welcome back to Jake's Book Corner, where I'm Jacob, and this is obviously not a book corner, but we're here anyways. And basically, what I have to offer for you is, like, where is Broken Boys? Why are we not getting draft reviews? Why are we not getting videos, vlogs, and such? These are all the questions that I have been getting, and all the questions that will be answered in this video. So first off, I have started back on work on Monday, which was, like, May 12th or May 11th or something like that. And then also, on top of that, we have, well, it's mostly just that. So I go to work for two weeks and I'm off. I only work for four hours a day and so you could, you could petition there's many hours in there, but there really isn't. I work in the middle of the day from one to five, which is like my best writing time. So like I really couldn't even if I wanted to. Um, some people could petition that my best writing time is at the end. Either way, I moved my, my, my release. Um, I'm taking the rest of the year off. From college which they'll have a whole separate video on my whole experience with my year off and whole nine yards coming up in the future because I think it's something that you guys would be interested in especially if you're starting college and you have any ideas um, or anything like that I could probably answer some questions um, as I will be starting it's an interesting discussion that I'm excited to put out but also nervous either way and so because I'm gonna take until January off because of the pandemic basically is the whole reason why this happened and um, I figured it's okay if we had to extend some deadlines, extend some dates. Um, I think there's going to be three drafts before I start trying to query. And so we have this draft and another draft. And so if I finish it by July, I start in August, write it all August, off for September query in like October. It's like the plan, you know what I mean? And so I'm quite excited about it um, and things like that. Three drafts might be a little too early, who knows? But I at least want... A, the second draft, like you guys know, is mostly adding on content for Broken Boys. And I'm coming to an issue. So I wrote 10,000 words in the month of April, which was pretty shabby for when I started. And because I was staying up to date with my word count, but also not like hitting my word count. Warning that I had to write 120,000 words, most of it being rewritten, half of it being rewritten. It does bring up some challenges and things. Some, um, am I doing this right? I've never written a second draft. There's some scary things about that. But also, why did I put it on hiatus? I put it on hiatus until, like, May something, because I work, is mostly the reason. Um, and I'm going to try to do a 10,000 more day every weekend. Um, I do get off at 5.30 on 5 on Friday. But here's the problem, is I have movie night. I have so many things to do on Friday. This Saturday, in particular, is a graduation day. And so, like, I can't do anything on graduation day. Because, like, graduation. And then this Sunday, we're actually celebrating Mother's Day. Because last Sunday we didn't have all the things we wanted, and so we pushed it to this Sunday. And so, like, yeah, it's just implausible to actually do work this week, um, to do one this week. And so we'll try again next week. But I can't do one next week, and either is because it's the release of um, Mockingjay or the song Birds or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. It's interesting. Um, I'm still going to try to do writing vlogs gonna try to get some 10,000 words maybe I'll do it over three days instead of just like 10,000 word weekends instead of like a 10,000 word day could be better could be easier not really sure my mom is still in the middle of reading it she's going through some pretty med bad medical problems right now nothing to do with Rona but like Miss Rona hasn't hit us but like medical problems she had beforehand that are coming back to resurface and um so she has not been reading and I don't fault her for that she's in a lot of pain and things it makes sense and so I think that's also another issue I'm falling into is the fact that I know that I don't have all my official opinions yet. I'm getting into newer content for the story, which is both exciting and scary. And so it's it's, it's a rough time. I am thinking about the story sometimes uh, as much as I want to. And um, so we're going to try to dive into my brain sims. But I think I might just wait until the end of May like to really hit home and write. Oh my god, I, I made myself drop try as many words at the end of May as I possibly can um I think is the goal and then going into June and then writing the rest in June um I was talking to Kate Kavanaugh on a live stream about this if I if I think I should free outline or not this story is really different from any story I've ever written before because it doesn't follow a three-act structure there are two acts act one and act two every book essentially does follow a three-act structure but there is a middle point, like a direct middle point in between. The books are written 120,000 words. Each side is 60,000 word. Each side should have their own accumulative arcs. And so I'm breaking each side up, I think, this month into three acts. So each side does have an accumulative arc for each point. 
because it's essentially two books into one to fit a full story that will have an overarching. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Maybe it does make sense. It makes sense in my brain, and that's all that matters. Because I think you guys could also petition, okay, well then are you done with book one? And is it supposed to be a duology instead? No. It's just there's certain subplot lines that have an overarching arc in act one, like in, like in act one, and then act two has other subplots and then overarching arcs. So I think I need to do a little more extensive outlining, breaking my outline up into three acts. Maybe that will help. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to make it easier for me to be convincible on my own writing. Um, watching Christine's video yesterday really did help get me excited back into writing. I am doing some writing and stuff. Writing I can't really tell you about. It's really personal. Um, and uh, there will be a video coming out for it, but not until like when I'm done with it, when I actually have a copy of it and things. And so it is a sub-project I am working on. I don't know. But basically, that's the point of this video, is that... All the fun things I was planning on doing in May with writing, we're going to move into June instead. I do go back at the end of June. It's like June 23rd, 22nd, I go back to work. And so um, we will just have to wait and see. I'm a little nervous, but also I'm, I'm really, really excited and things like that. But yeah, if you guys want to continue following my journey and stuff this month, I'm trying to get to 100 books on my Goodreads, and so it's gonna be like a lot of reading. Um, there's a lot of fun things, and also if there's any books you wanna recommend or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. It's just an interesting time that we're a part of right now because Broken Boys is such a big part of like my life this year because I'm trying to get it published and things, which makes a lot of sense, but I don't know, it's weird, it's weird. How do you guys feel? How you guys are doing on your writing? Um, has the quarantine affected your writing? I was expecting to write the whole time in quarantine and I wrote 10,000 words. Like, it was weird. I Now, my problem is I just got off of writing as soon as quarantine had started. And so April was the perfect month to finish this book. I just could not push myself to write. I had no motivation. And I still don't really have motivation. I'm hoping all the reading and things like that will induce my power to motivate, but I'm not really sure. There's also a lot of other things on my plate that I could get into if that's something you guys are interested in. Things that I put on my plate, such as getting to 100 books, streaming every day, doing things like this, um, going to work and things. You know, four hours of your day doesn't seem like it's a lot, but there's only 24 hours in the day. You sleep for seven of those, you do the math, you really just have, I just have some hours in the morning and some hours in the evening, and then my day's over. And um, probably about like nine o'clock, I cap out now because of work. And yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's weird. Um, and we'll see how next week's goes because next week I'm on a different schedule. Either way, it brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And I know you guys are all really, really excited to get your hands on Broken Boys. We do have a few content coming up for Broken Boys. I do want to mention I did vlog the first 10,000 words like I said I did. They're on my computer. I'm pretty sure I will vlog the experiences of trying to write 10,000 words in one weekend, but I'm going to do them in short chunks, and it's all going to be one big video to come back in June to where I'm at currently, and then starting June vlogs. That's the plan for that. For anybody who is curious, who does want writing vlogs and such, they'll be happening in June. In May, it's going to be focused on reading and getting reading content out there and uncomfortable discussions and fun things like that because that's what I'm in the mood today. Um, and also, we're going back to our three ep three three videos a week schedule, so you'll get a vlog, and then you'll get a few extra things um, as well, this being one of those extra things. I have a quarantine video coming up um, on, I think it's Friday, on Saturday, I guess now, and um, so yeah, you'll have a vlog, you'll have some extra things, and then also, they'll vary and stuff. I'm just trying to keep myself not super thin and doing so many videos when I'm not really inspired to do videos is hard. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time for another people video. Thank you for watching and have a good evening or wherever you're at. Have a good whatever. Goodbye.